I'm like getting mild anxiety. Okay. All right, let's go back and look. Hello, YouTube. It's been about like two years and like 40 days since I've last uploaded. I am very much so sick, but also low-key very inspired to make a video for you guys because I haven't done a video in um, a very, very long time and I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, I missed you guys a lot and I swear, I swear every time I say I'm going to film a video, I have all the intentions to. I just never do and I'm very, very sorry. Forgive me. My hair is different. I know. Um, are you vibing it? Because I'm vibing it. I haven't been this dark in a very, very long time. So it's a change, but a good change. If you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen my dark hair. If you're not following me on Instagram, why aren't you following me on Instagram or Snapchat? Get on it. I can wait. Pause the video. Did you get on it? So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current beauty favorites kind of just products that I've been obsessed with lately. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get on started. The first thing I wanna talk about is the blush by NARS called Gilda. And it is a very beautiful corally blush. It's what I have on my cheeks right now. And I think it's just the perfect, perfect, look at that. Ain't that just a pretty summer slash spring shade? And it just goes on so beautifully and it goes with so many makeup looks. Well, I like to keep my makeup looks. Sorry, got a text message. Very natural. So, I mean, if you consider this natural. So I like to have like a pop of color on my cheeks and it's just so easy to work with. Very easy to blend out. And look how pigmented that is. Girl, you do not need a lot of this. It will, it will show up, trust me. The next thing I want to share with you guys are going to be for the brows. I have two products for my brows that I've been using as of lately, and I've been loving it. So the first thing is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm not sure if I've talked about this on my channel before, but I do absolutely love it. I know I've talked about the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which was what I used to use, um, but this is just a cheaper alternative. I'm pretty sure I can get two of these for the price of one Anastasia Brow Wiz, so you know. You do the math. I use it in the color Ash Brown and it has a double ended deal just like the brow is. And honestly, guys, I don't see the difference. Let me swatch this. Oh my god, look at my swatching skills. I I don't even know anymore. So that is the color that I use. And it's just worked for me. Um, when I was blonde, I was also using this color. So it's very versatile. I also really like this MAC. What is this? Pen Ultimate Brow Marker and when I first got this I didn't like it um, not because of the product but I think it's because I didn't know how to use it or I didn't give it enough time but it is so easy to use and I absolutely adore this um, I would have to say at this point I'm using the MAC Pen Ultimate Brow Marker more so than I'm actually using the NYX Micro Pencil it's just so easy to use and they are very similar in shade, of course. And I use this in the color, what color is this? Oh my God, it doesn't even say the color. Why Mac, why you gotta do this to me? I have no idea what color this is, but I will find out and I will leave it in the description box below for you guys. The next thing I wanna talk about is this Nature Republic Magic Lip Tint. It's what I have on my lips right now. And I really, really, really like this because number one, it's very natural. Number two, it's super long lasting. Oh my God, can you see my like blush blotch? Um, and number three, it's just so easy to use. So there you have it. I have it in the color. Why don't these ever say the color names? But I believe it's in red because they have three colors. I think they have a pink one, a red one, and an orange one. Um, the pink one is more of like a fuchsia and the orange one, I have a lot of orangey 
kind of lipstick slash lip stains so I went with the red because it doesn't really come off as a red it's more of like a pinkish red so I thought that would be the best color for me I love long-lasting lip colors because ain't nobody got time to reapply especially when I'm at work and I'm drinking coffee I just don't have the luxury to just constantly be putting some lips on so I like to put lips on and have my lips stay on but yeah if you can get your hands on this I definitely highly recommend it the next product is of course a mascara because would this be an SLET video without talking about at least one mascara? No, it would not be. I know you guys really miss my Mascara Madness Fun Days. I miss them too. Um, if I can get back into the swing of things, I promise those would be the first videos that I will be working on. But as for now, know that I adore this mascara. It is the CoverGirl Full Lash Blue Mascara in Waterproof. This is what the brush looks like. Focus. There you go. So, it reminds me a lot of the Rocket Mascara, except it's not as thick as the Rocket Mascara, and I feel like it comes off a lot easier, which is a good thing because. At the end of the night, with my Rocket Mascara, it stays on so well that I'm literally like scrubbing my lashes. This gives me great separation, length, it's like the perfect natural base coat and it just is everything I'm looking for in my first waterproof coat. So if you guys don't know how I apply my mascara, because I have stick straight Asian lashes that like to um, not curl upwards, but instead just like... You know, it's it's a sad story. Um, I, what I like to do is I like to curl my lashes, apply a waterproof coat to help hold the curl, and then I'll go in with any other non-waterproof mascara that I am currently enjoying. I just like to use this first just to give it um, a curl, and then I can go in and fake it till I make it with the other mascaras. Uh, and yeah, and it's a drugstore mascara, so... You can't go wrong with that. And the last but definitely, definitely not least, I don't know if I've ever talked about this before because I usually don't talk about fragrances on my channel, but here it is, the Roses by Chloe, or it's like Roses de Chloe, something like that. It's all fancy schmancy, let me see. Let me get this right for you guys. Roses de Chloe, yeah, and it smells so good. I'm super sensitive to scents, and I'm very, 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 very particular with them, but girl, let me tell you, this is so, so, so good, so good. I love this. I mean, can you tell I'm almost done, and I need another bottle, because Mm. When I spray this, I am like going to town with this girlfriend. Oh, it smells so good. I can't stress enough how good this smells. It's amazing. And usually, honestly, I'm not even like a rosy type of person, but there's no other scent out there that's like this. And it just gives me life, guys. It gives me so much life. I adore it. End of story you need it in your life go get it right now so that is all for my current beauty favorites thank you guys so much for sticking around and enduring this disgusting voice of mine trust me when i say i've been adoring all the products that i shared with you guys today because i have i probably use them every single day for the past I don't even know however long. So if you guys haven't already followed me on all my other social medias, you guys probably should because I'm more active and alive on those. So I will leave them somewhere here for your viewing pleasure so you can just go ahead and be like, I'm gonna stalk her. Stalk me. I'm about it. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please thumbs up and subscribe because it would make me very happy and my heart all fuzzy. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye guys!